quarterfinal number one. Ladies and gentlemen, the newly crowned Premier League champion and the five-time champion of the world, Raymond Van titles, including the back-to-back -back two-time champion of the world, Jackpot, Adrian Welcome to the 2014 Dubai Duty Free Darts Masters. And when I say warm, I mean it. The temperature on the stage is touching 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is going to play a big, big part as this evening goes on. It certainly is, Stuart. And I think, you know, coming from that air conditioned room, which is nice and calm, you're throwing the darts, your hands are not sweating, it's a good grip on the darts, so you can be playing absolutely brilliant in that back room. But as you say, you come up, 100 degrees, humidity, the hands will start to sweat. So these first few legs is where you've got to get into the game quick. You can win and lose the game in these first five legs. Well, unique tournament, unique atmosphere, just the slightest, slightest hint uh, of a breeze, but you certainly can't feel that on the stage. The stage is actually well protected to the sides. And, uh, well, six of the players uh, are used to the conditions, aren't they? Uh, the new boys here, Dave Chisnall, Peter against Wright, Adrian uh, replacing first. Andy Emo. Hamilton and Wes Newton, who took part 12 months ago. So here we go. Uh, first to ten legs. No tie breaks if we reach nine apiece. Um, we have a sudden death shootout. But it'll just be interesting to see how uh, the darts go. That's already awkward for Barnabelle, and we'll see the players. They will be sweating, but to play in these conditions at 100 degrees, just to let you know that, that 12 months ago, when we were here for the inaugural uh, Dubai Darts Masters, the temperatures were probably 10 or 15 26. degrees lower because the tournament was played a week earlier. They are in the middle of a real hot spell. Uh, but playing darts in 100, 100 degrees, something different for the players, that's for sure. And it will take some getting used to. It certainly will. And as we take the game 60. worldwide, they're going to have to get used to this more and more. Australia and all those destinations will come into the calendar in future years. But Barney... It's a great first dart from Barney. He'll be disappointed if he doesn't follow that up. When he gets that first dart laying in the bottom of the treble, both these players work on the rhythm. If the first dart is in a good position, you normally find the second or third one will follow it. So Barney, although Lewis threw first, 
a 140 here, and the one thing that Barney's been brilliant at for all the Premier League is those checkouts. Wow. 53% on checkouts throughout the Premier League. So he's going to be very, very confident that anything just over the 100. 95. Oh. Here's the bar of old house settled down nicely. Well, nicely done. What can Lewis do with 97? We'll go up looking for the treble 20. It was still on, but uh, Barney here will look at tops to take the opening leg against the throw. A man who's playing darts with a smile on his face at the moment after that Premier League triumph just a week ago. And uh, he's off and running. You were talking it during... Uh, the opening to the show here in Dubai about Bali being a, a confidence player. If he believes, more often than not, he wins. That is how it works out with Bali. Well, we've seen so often when he's got behind against players, he kind of throws the towel in. He's not got that, that fight that he used to have. Um, but we see a little bit of a different wow. Bali in the final of the Premier League. But the 0-2 on Thursday when he was 4-1 down to Phil Taylor. And then comes back and beats him, and then goes on and beats Van Gerwen in the final. You can't get any better than that. So his form line is the best out of all eight players. And that first leg, you know, Aidy just didn't find it. Made it very easy for Barney to break the throw with Lewis. Well, what a week it's been for Barnavel. What a night it was in London at the O2 in front of 10,000. He was the 9-1 to one outsider of the four going into Premier League finals night. And, as you say, to beat Taylor and then follow it up with a wow. win over Van Gerwen. Uh, he deserved it. Finally got there, didn't he? After losing six Premier League semi-finals. Well, a great chance here for Lewis to get this break back. He needs to find at least one treble. He needs a big treble. He's found that. He's going to come back. And have at least one dart, possibly at tops, or double 16 to make it one all. Barney, all he can do is hit a, a big shot to put some pressure 55. on. And he's not really done that. Could be six darts from 72 for Lewis. May only need two now across the double six. 16. Well, we have had now official confirmation. It is 100 degrees here at the Dubai tennis center for the start of the 2014 tournament Barney's left himself a hundred and he's not going to get a shot at it first two legs one against the throw the players just trying to get used to the conditions well as we mentioned Stuart I think it will take two three perhaps even up to five legs for their bodies to get used to that, that heat out there and, and their hands you know, a lot of players, I know I would have done, had a, a towel down the side of my leg, so you just wipe it off, to get rid of the sweat, so you've got that good grip on the dart, because well, Phil Taylor had a big problem with the grip, and it was that the dart was sliding. It's exactly what's going to happen up here with the sweat, although Lewis has no problem with the grip on those three darts. The first 180 of the Dubai Duty Free Masters. Well, a good response from Barnaval, but Lewis now settling down, isn't he? Settling into the job. They both have towels on a little table behind them on the offbeat. All over the shop is the answer. Well, you can see the funny side. Well, he hit the 180, didn't he? And then followed it with an absolutely bag of nails, as our old friend used to say. And perhaps he was uh, saying that they were just drifting a bit, but he needs to throw the dart a tad harder. He throws a light dart, A.D. Lewis. So the people who throw the big heavy darts, Van Gerwen throws it very hard. Should play into his hands a little bit more. 60. Maybe you require 84. 44. And no pressure on the shot. Uh, 
And after that opening leg, Barnevel just hasn't found the power scoring, has he? It was interesting in that semi-final against Phil Taylor. He beat Taylor with a 90 average. Uh, but it was enough for Barnevel. On the night, tops is enough for Adrian Lewis. Well, he was disappointed, Lewis, to lose to Barneveld here 12 months ago in the first round. Barney winning that by 10 legs to six, if memory serves me right. And Lewis here looks like he beats business. Well, certainly after that first leg, it's now Lewis that's gone into his stride. He's starting to hit the big trebles. And Barney's going to have to keep an eye on that. That's a perfect treble. Lewis has got to fill it up with that one. That's where Lewis's game is so great. When he's on form, he's such a, a marvel to watch. The first dart goes in that treble, and you just know there's going to be at least one. More than often, the last two follow it. Done a lot of work here for Barney. He can't let this man get in front. That's what he's doing, and, oh, and again, missing the third dart. Still to come, Simon Whitlock against Dave Chisnell. Phil Taylor will take on Peter Wright and the defending champion Michael Van Gerwen against James Wade. And here, Adrian Lewis, 12 darter maybe. Well, that was unlucky, just flicked the barrel, but he looks to be in total control here. Uh, and it's Barney at the moment who is uh, finding it a struggle. Perhaps this will get him going. Well, it certainly has put the pressure. And Lewis's first leg was one with the double six. He's chasing down the threes. I was going to say it's the worst double on the board, but not for Jackpot. Takes a three-one lead and a break of throw for Lewis. And this would put him in big command. Well, that was unlucky. I hit the bottom wire of the treble bed. Well, Barney. Following up a 180 in the last leg with a 140 here. Brilliant from Lewis. But already there's 10 points between the players in the averages. And that very much reflected in the scoreline because uh, Adrian Lewis here is throwing for a 4-1 lead. Well, the reason for that, Stu, they're both level on 180s at one apiece. Lewis, five 140s to Barney's one. And that's the, the category that you've got to be good at. That's what's going to win your legs. The 180s are great to see the crowd loving, but those 140s... Is where the hard work is done. And certainly, it is Lewis that is really comfortable on that treble 20 at the moment. And he's a treble steward, isn't he? Does. he? Oh, that's not enough pressure. Now then. Went on to win seven of the next eight legs to win that semi final against Taylor. So you never write Barney off from this situation. Will it be a case of darting deja vu here in Dubai? But it's advantage Lewis. Well, it was interesting, Stu, that um, AD went off for the complete duration of that break where Barney stayed on the stage to you know, keep acclimatised. We don't know if that's the right thing to do. You know, you go backstage, you go in the air-conditioned room, you know, you're drying out, your hands are drying out, then you're coming back out, having to get used to that heat again. The good news for the players, the temperature has dropped from 100 to 99 degrees on stage now. 
Barneveld, again, has got the larger flights, the, the big flights that he used on Premier League finals night to such good effect when he won the tournament at the O2. And you reckon that the larger flights here would certainly help with the direction or the flow of the darts through the night air, the still night air here in Dubai. Well, when you get this sort of atmosphere, they do say that, you know, the dart will fly a little bit quicker. You know, in golf, I always say it's a, it's a club, you're hitting the ball a club more because of the atmosphere. At the moment, Lewis is the one who's come out of this break not as good as he went into it. Well, at the break, there was 10 points between them on the averages. That's closed a little bit. Well, I'm I think Barnabell possibly made the right decision staying out there and just practicing during that first break. 59. Right, and you require 32. Stop the rock. Game Good start. So, 4-2 uh, it is. is. So Lewis won four. Consecutive legs. Well, that was with the, the Barnabell throw, so Lewis won't panic too much. He'll know, just hang on to his throw. He can't be beaten. That's not the best starts to a leg and Barney the 140 here really puts the pressure on not really found the power scoring yet as Barney Lewis had a good spell as you can see the 140s that's the reason why Lewis has got that 4-2 lead and that's a category where Barney has got to start moving up 83 First to ten, the winner of this will play either Michael Van Curren or James Wade. Brilliant switch from Lewis for a 171. One Well, a chance here for Lewis. He's going to have to go for the Bulls R25. Now treble 15. That would have left him double top. 90. Well, he set it up pretty good. Barnevelt going to need six darts from 180, so he's going to have to hope that Lewis is going to miss two darts and a double. Is he going to go five double 70. top or 13 Maybe double 16? They're the two combinations. Five for tops, his favourite double. And so that's exactly why Lewis holds on to his throw. Takes a three leg lead, 5 2 over the big Dutchman. It's interesting, isn't it? Barnevel with that brilliant win at the Premier League. He then went on to play the PDC Pro Tour uh, last weekend. And 43. The fizz had gone because he was flat losing first round uh, of both days. But you, I guess you can understand, really, that after the, the very high of what he achieved at the wow. O2, it was a bit difficult to get himself motivated to play a, a Pro Tour event. Effectively behind closed doors. Well, I'm really I'm a full tournament. And I'm Lewis here with a great switch again. I was very surprised, Stu, that Barney actually turned up for them. He's ducked out a lot of pro tours over the last two years. And I thought, well, that would have been the one to duck out of. He's won the Premier League. He's on a massive high. To go and win a couple of pro tours, it was a big ask for him. As Lewis fires in. So he's either ducked out of him two pro tours, he's coming in without any scar tissue, without losing a match. I think it was more to do with logistics, the fact that their players were well, flying out from London two. on Monday uh, to come here to Dubai. Now the 180 may not make any difference from Adrian Lewis as Barney again has left himself double 16. Again. You know, the conditions, well, despite the conditions, the finishing has been really, really good. Lewis checking out at 50%, Barney's at 3 out of 5, checking out at 60%, and that's impressive in this heat, in these conditions, reminding you, if you are just joining us, this is the Dubai Duty Free Darts Masters, the temperature on the stage is wavering between 98 and 99 degrees Fahrenheit. 59. Well, there we do have those stats. 
as I said, Barnley was 53% for the whole of the Premier League, so we kind of knew that the doubles weren't a problem for him. He just needs to up his scoring. And Lewis at 50%, if you told Adi that, he'd be more than happy. 60. He is a player that is the power scorer, but does tend to miss doubles at time. Although he's a double-time world champion, he knows how to hit the treble. Oh, three maximums for Lewis. And that really does get him command as he acknowledges the crowd. A great player to watch still when he's on full Lewis. Well, he makes it just look so easy, doesn't he, Adrian Lewis? Two majors in the last eight to nine months. European Championship. And then, of course, winning the UK Open with an average of 109 in the final against Terry Jenkins. So when he is playing at his very best, it's just, uh, just a pleasure to watch, isn't it? So, looking at 76 for 6-3. Topsy needs. Terrific finishing uh, from Adrian Lewis. And uh, he maintains his advantage. 6-3 ahead against Barney in the race to 10 for a place in the semi-finals. The winner of this will pocket 50,000 US dollars. Not bad for a couple of days' work. Of course, the World Series will be back in August. Next one in Perth, followed by the Sydney Darts Masters at the end of August. And the possibility of more tournaments to add into the mix as well this year and next. What? This is the leg Van Barnevelt's got to win. Cannot let Lewis go into the break 7 3 up. That will be just one too far, I feel. One. He needed another treble. Open the door here for Lewis to, to fire in a big score. They have to switch on that third dart. Yeah, he's going to come down, knocking off the 19. He didn't really punish Barney, so Barney's going to get six darts from 201 to hold on to his throat. Yeah, crucial leg. One hundred and five. Yeah. Left 96 after 12. Well, that was unlucky. And the 140 with pressure on Barney. One hundred and forty. Yeah, right on cue. One so, Barney here cannot afford to go two breaks down. Most important leg of the match so far. Lewis, you would think, 56. will get at least one dart at tops. I go for two tops instead. Game oh, time. what about that from Adrian Lewis? Turning on the style in the heat of the desert here in Dubai. And Raymond van Barneveld, last year's runner-up at the Dubai Duty Free Darts Masters, really has been spot on. It really is turning out. Tough work for Barney here. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So a double break up, three legs away from a place in the semi final against either Van Gerwen or Wade. And looking very, very Four maximums now for Adrian Lewis. We all know what Lewis can do, Stu, when he starts what to hit that treble 20, when he gets in front of a play, gets confident. He is a hard player to peg back. And that's why he's a double world champion. And I think we see the confidence with those two double tops. I mean, exhibition shooting, but uh, when you think about it, that double top twice the size of the treble. So nothing wrong with that. And Barney probably feeling in his own mind that that leg before the break was the crucial leg. If he was going to get back in this game, that had to be the one he won. But Lewis pegged it in. And lead 7-3. Well, there, was, there was never even a thought in his mind to go for the for the treble, was there? 123. Tops to take out 18. He's got six darts from here to make it 8-3. Impressive indeed. Remember, Barnaby won the first leg as well. You have to say, 
Are you Barney, ready? How's Fulton. the look of a man who's resigned to his darting fate on this night? Because Adrian Lewis. Well, double ten just flicked the flight that second dart. It's the first time he's missed with three darts in his hand, a double. And in the Premier League, Stu, this is where Barney punished players over and over again. He got him back, himself back into so many games in that Premier League by doing this. The player misses three, he takes out the double. A big dart for Barney. Get one of those throws back. Two down at the moment. Oh, and it's just outside. But Lewis, he doesn't want to break this and start chasing up to the fives. If he's going to miss, just outside. Perfect. Perfect guide dart for Lewis. And that's exactly why. At the line of the length. It was so easy for the second dart to go in. In the case, a little bit of uh, after the Lord Mayor's show here for Raymond Van Barneveld. One hundred. He's still wondering how to spend his £150,000 for his Premier League win. I'm sure his wife Sylvia, who's here with him, he's got one or two ideas. AC1. Speedy with the third dart there from Lewis. Wasting it a little bit. But he just lays this on the flights. And that's why the third one went in. Perfect position for the first two, as that is the perfect position for Lewis. And another 140. His ninth of the match. Four 180s to one. Lewis leads. Nine 140s to seven. One hundred and thirty. Yeah, nicely done from Barnevel. At least seventy-one after twelve. Sixty. Well, Lewis will be disappointed with that. Seventy-one. Gotta go, you feel, Raymond? One dart at tops. Game oh, time yes, good. good aggressive dart as well from Barnevel, wasn't it? Well, Barney's going to have to look at a 12-dart leg because Lewis, after the first leg of the match, has really held on to his throw strongly. Barney may only get one dart to break him, but he needs to find this treble. And in the Lewis, that was the bad visit from Lewis. Barney's kind of half punished him with that 51. Well, a terrific tournament. The players love it. At the moment, Adrian Lewis really is enjoying himself. Oh, yes. <laughs> Never a doubt. <laughs> what a response. Well, that should run 80. That just caught the flight as it was coming in. But he got there quick enough. 180's back to back here in Dubai. Not only the heat that's warming up, the players are as well. But is it too late for Barney? Seven 180s already. 105. Yeah, nicely done. Possible 13 data here for Adrian Lewis. Barney needs to find the treble. There's no pressure whatsoever. Maybe he splits this. Double nines is not great. Right. Splits it. He's double percent now at 47. A real good, strong performance this from Lewis. Well, interesting as well. I think Adrian Lewis has, has possibly also woken up to the fact that 123. he needs to, to change his lifestyle a little and he set himself a target to lose four stone, would you believe? Three perfect darts, and he wants to lose weight. I'm told he's well talking to him. He's playing tennis now three or four times a week, and he really is putting in a little bit of an effort to change. When he's playing like this, the darts are as good as ever. Well, when you want one leg, a way to start 180, 140 for Lewis and Barney is holding on. Well, hanging on to his coattails but a good strong visit here from Lewis will possibly give him the first dart at the double he's found the treble 
100. Surprised that Lewis didn't go 25 at that last start to leave the 76, which guarantees him a dart for the double and not the ball. Look at this. Double 12 for Barnabel. Wow. Oh, fantastic from Raymond Van Barnabel. Well, these two are putting on some exhibition, aren't they? Now, first match of the night, really entertaining. Good stuff from Barnabel and from Lewis. Lewis averaging 97, Barney 93. We've seen 16. brilliant finishing. We've seen 8 180s. 18. Yeah, the checkouts from both players, the averages from both players. As now Lewis pushes his average up to 98 and a half. Exceptional play when you think the first three legs were pretty mediocre, Stu. And so their averages, are, especially Lewis's, is probably pushing 100. If you take those first three legs out of the equation. 57. Impressed by Lewis, it hurt him not qualifying for the Premier League playoffs. Now, well, a 180 fast, 10 maximums in this opening match so far. 100. Why did you require 161? Well, it is a chance. One of the biggest checkouts in the game. He wants the 51. He took a 138 out in the previous leg. He wants the bullseye. A little bit wayward, but a good chance. So now Lewis will he have to use the bullseye with his third dart or well tops now for the match for Lewis. What a, what a finish. What a recovery from Adrian Lewis. A 98 average and the Premier League champ is beaten in the opening round here in Dubai. Last year's runner-up Raymond Van Barnevel. But that was Adrian Lewis. On top form, Adrian Lewis sending out a message. He means business here in Dubai. Lewis wins it 10-5.